So today, we need to move some corals that are bleaching, possibly due to coral positioning. Let's go. Last episode, we got rid of some Aptasia pests. And speaking of pests, to help us revive some bleached out corals, we've got Shane Danger here once again. <laughs> Well, thanks for flying in all the way from Hawaii to uh, come and see me today. So there's two corals in here actually that aren't doing too well. What do you think about these guys? Um, yeah, that's those Leptoceros there. Look, they're in a great position visually, but where it's in the shadow, it's actually growing and thriving. Right on the top where it's exposed to more light, it's actually getting hammered with light. And like that orange one on the other side there, it's being hammered with even more light and it kind of doesn't really have a place to grow. Like in the wild, they actually grow more on the sides of things and under ledges and in little tiny divots on rock faces that are really deep, like 30, 40 meters deep. To fix this, all we need to do is put them in a little bit more shade. And you know what that does? It gives you more real estate in those bright spots for, for more corals. <laughs> so what do I need then? A ladder and a knife. You guys need to come take a look at this. So just put the knife gently under there and it should just pop off. Oh, look at that. All right. I thought it might actually, actually it did, it did. It left a tiny little frag just there. That's your first frag. That tiny little thing there? Yeah, that'll grow. If you give that good enough conditions, it could very well grow. It's got polyps on it, so it can grow. But this is the main bit we're concerned about. So we've got this really healthy growth on this bottom edge here. This edge here is the concern, it's a bit bleached. So what we're gonna do is put that in way more shade. And I think we might even go under here. It will be much more happier than in that direct light it was beaming. And now that we've Duncan Ops Coral on top, we'll give it all the shade it needs. So now we're gonna re-glue this one. I'll put a big, big old lump of glue on there. All right. And then right in under there. Cool. So now that's got lots of shade, especially on that burnt sun bleached edge there. And the rest of it should grow really nicely. So now we're gonna repeat the process with the second one, which is that orange one over there. So we're gonna pop that off with butter knife and move that into another position as well. Yeah, so there's a, quite a bit of sun damage on that. We'll get that one in a lot more shade than where it was. I think we could even maybe go right around there under that ledge. Very generous with the glue. Yeah, yes, I didn't want to mess around with that. And now that there is like how you would see them in the wild. They are like dark, in really dark little locations. Good, so it's nice and shady. Yeah, perfect. 